ज्ञानकोश उपनिषद ओम गणानान्त्वा गणपति गुम्भवाम है कवि कवीना मुपवस्त्रमस्तम ज्येष्ठराज ब्रह्मणा ब्रह्मण स्पदान शृण्मति विस्तृत साधन ओम सहनावत सहनो भुन सह वीर करवाह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तुमा वह ओम शांति 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 ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्य पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओम शांति 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 कृष्णयजुर्वेद उपनिषद त्रैचय उपनिषद ब्रह्मांड वल्ली मे ही प्रोटेक्ट अस बोथ टुगेदर मे ही नरिश अस बोथ टुगेदर मे वी बोथ एक्वायर स्ट्रेंथ टुगेदर लेट आवर स्टडी बी ब्रिलियंट मे वी नॉट कैविल एट ईच अदर ओम पीस 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 द नोयर ऑफ ब्रह्मन अटेन्स द हाईएस्ट here is a verse that ring that very fact brahma is truth knowledge and infinite he who knows that brahma as existing in the intellect lodged in the supreme space in the heart enjoys as identified with the all knowing brahman all desirable things simultaneously from that brahman which is the self was produced space from space emerged air from air was born fire from fire was created water from water sprang up earth from earth were born the herbs from the herbs was produced food from food was born man that man such as he is is a product of the essence of food of him this indeed is the head this is the southern side this is the northern side this is the self this is the stabilizing tail here is a verse pertaining to that very fact all beings that rest on the earth are born verily from food besides they live on food and at the end they get merged in food food was verily born before all creatures therefore it is called the medicine for all those who were shaped which food as brahman acquired all the food food was verily born before all creatures therefore it is called the medicine for all creatures are born of food being born they grow by food since it is eaten and it eats the creatures it is called food as compared with this self made of essence of food as said before there is another inner self which is made of air by that is this one filled this self is also of the human form its human form takes after the human form of that earlier one of this prana is the head vayana is the southern side apana is the northern side space is the self the earth is the tail that stabilizes pertaining to that is is this the senses act by following the vital force in the mouth all human beings and animals that are there act similarly since on the vital force depends the life of all creatures therefore it is called the life of all those who worship the vital force as brahman attain the full span of life since on the vital force depends the life of all it is called the life of all of the preceding one this one indeed is the embodied self as compared with this vital body there is another internal self constituted by mind by that one is this one filled up that self constituted by mind is also of a human shape 
the human shape of the mental body takes after the human shape of the vital body of the mental body the yajur mantras are the head the rig mantras are the right side the sama mantras are the left side the brahman portion is the self the mantras seen by atharva angiras are the stabilizing tail pertaining to this there is a verse one is not subjected to fear at any time if one knows the bliss that is brahman failing to reach which brahman as conditioned by the mind words along with the mind turn back of that preceding one this mental one is verily the embodied self as compared with this mental body there is another internal self constituted by valid knowledge by that one is this one filled up this one as aforesaid has verily a human shape it is humanly shaped in accordance with the sh- human shape of the earlier one of him faith is verily the head righteousness is the right side truth is the left side concentration is the self mahat is the stabilizing tail pertaining to this knowledge actualizes a sacrifice and it executes the duties as well all the gods meditate on the first born brahman conditioned by knowledge if one knows the brahman no- knowledge of brahman and if one does not err about it one abandons all sins in the body and fully enjoys all enjoyable things of that preceding one this cognitive one is verily the embodied self as compared with this cognitive body there is another internal self constituted by bliss by that one is this one filled up this one as aforesaid has verily a human shape it is humanly shaped in accordance with the human shape of the earlier one of him joy is verily the head enjoyment is the right side hilarity is the left side bliss is the self brahman is the tail that stabilizes a pro press of this here is a verse if any one knows brahman as non existing he himself becomes non existent if any one knows that brahman does exist then they consider him as existing by virtue of that knowledge of that preceding one this one is embodied self hence thereafter follow these questions after departing does any ignorant man go to the other world alternatively does any man of knowledge after departing reach the other world he wished let me be many let me be born he undertook a deliberation having deliberated he created all this that exists that brahman having created entered into that very thing and having entered here there it became the formed and the formless the defined and the undefined the sustaining and the non sustaining the sentient and the insensitent the true and the untrue truth became all this that there is they call that brahman truth pertaining to this there occurs this verse in the beginning of this was but the unmanifested brahman from that emerged the manifested that brahman created itself by itself therefore it is called the self creator that which is known as the self creator is verily the source of joy for one becomes happy by coming in contact with that source of joy who indeed will inhale and who will exhale if this bliss be not there in the supreme space within the heart this one indeed enlivens for whenever an aspirant gets fearlessly established in this unperceivable bodiless inexpressible and unsupporting brahman he reaches the state of fearlessness for whenever the aspirant creates the slightest difference in it he is smitten with fear nevertheless that very brahman is a terror to the learned mind who lacks the uninitiative outlook 
illustrative of this is the verse out of his fear the wind blows out of fear the sun rises out of his fear runs fire as also indra and death the fifth this then is an evaluation of that bliss suppose there is a young man in the prime of life good learned most expeditious most strongly built and most energetic suppose there lies this earth for him filled with wealth this will be one unit of human joy if this human joy be multiplied a hundred times it is one joy of the man gandharvas and so also of a follower of the vedas unaffected by desires if this joy of the man gandharvas be multiplied a hundred times it is one joy of the divine gandharvas and so also of a follower of the vedas unaffected by desire if the joy of the divine gandharvas be increased a hundred fold it is one joy of the mains whose world is everlasting and so also of a follower of the vedas unaffected by desires if the joy of the mains that dwell in the everlasting world be increased a hundred fold it is one joy of those that are born as gods in heaven and so also of a follower of the vedas untouched by desires if the joy of that those that are born as gods in heaven be multiplied a hundred fold it is one joy of the gods called the karma devas who reach the gods through vedic rites and so also of a follower of the vedas unaffected by desires if the joy of the gods called the karma devas be multiplied a hundred fold it is one joy of the gods and so also of a follower of the vedas untarnished by desires if the joy of the gods be increased a hundred time it is one joy of indra and so also of a follower of the vedas unaffected by desires if the joy of the indra be multiplied a hundred fold it is one joy of brahmaspati and so also of a follower of the vedas unaffected by desires if the joy of the brahmaspati be increased a hundred times it is one joy of virat and so also of a follower of the vedas untarnished by desires if the joy of virat be multiplied a hundred times it is one joy of hiranyagarbha and so also of a follower of the vedas unsullied by desires he that is here in the human person and he that is there in the sun are one he who knows thus attains after desisting from this world this self made of food attains this self made of vital force attains this self made of mind attains this self made of intelligence attains this self made of bliss expressive of this there occurs this verse the enlightened man is not afraid of anything after realizing that bliss is brahman failing to reach which words turn back along with the mind him indeed this remorse does not afflict why did i not perform good deeds and why did i perform bad deeds he who is that that enlightened strengthens the self with which these two are identical for it is he indeed who knows thus that can strengthen the self which these two really are this is the secret of teaching